One of my favorite podcast hosts, Joe Rogan, just announced on his social media accounts that he has COVID-19. As a hospital medicine doctor, I treat patients with COVID-19 all the time. And because I only work in the hospital, I see the sickest patients with this disease. Joe Rogan mentions a few medications that he's been using to treat his condition. Some of these we use all the time to the gold standard of therapy, others not so much. So let's take a look at what he has to say and we'll go over the medications one by one. And turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z uh prednisone, everything. Uh, and I also got an NAD drip and a vitamin drip, and I did that three days in a row. Okay, we heard him mention monoclonal antibodies. So these are antibodies that are created in a laboratory to help bolster the immune response to the virus. So far, this medication is used more in the outpatient setting. It's not something that I use for my patients in the hospital. Next, Joe Rogan mentions a medication called ivermectin. This is an anti-parasite medicine, not in common use for COVID-19. The same is true for a z pack also known as azithromycin. This is an antibiotic. We don't currently use this to treat COVID-19 unless there's a superimposed pneumonia. But fun fact, early on, I'm talking a year ago, year and a half ago, we used to give azithromycin to patients with COVID because we didn't have any other medications to give and there was some hope that maybe the anti-inflammatory effect from this medication would be beneficial to the lungs. But next, we move on to some good stuff. So prednisone is mentioned. This is a corticosteroid. It's a very strong anti-inflammatory inflammatory medicine. Would not use this for COVID-19 in the outpatient setting on people who are oxygenating just fine, mostly because the medication has a lot of side effects. It can make blood sugar go out of control. It can actually increase risk for other infections. However, on patients that are so sick, their oxygen level is really dipping down. They need to be in the hospital. And for those patients, the benefits of a steroid medication outweigh the risks. The steroid that I routinely use is not prednisone, but rather dexamethasone. And finally, we hear this talk about vitamin vitamins or NAD drips, these are not currently recommended as first-line treatment of COVID-19, especially not in patients who are so sick that they require hospitalization. Now there's another big medicine that I didn't hear mentioned, and that's remdesivir. This is an antiviral medication, not usually used for people in the outpatient setting, but certainly anyone who's recently diagnosed with COVID-19 and they have hypoxemia, that means their oxygen level is too low, they'll be a good candidate for this medication as well. And finally, it deserves mention that we didn't hear anything about medications like tocilizumab or baricitinib. These are very strong anti-inflammatory immunosuppressant medications that we use to treat cytokine storm. That's an exaggerated immune response to the virus. I would only use these medications for people who are on very high oxygen support, people who might even need to go to the ICU, certainly not somebody who's walking and talking in the outpatient setting. And there you have it. That's a quick intro to some of the medications used to treat COVID-19.